Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, uh, my name is Jeff Moore. I'm an outdoor photographer based in Worcestershire, United Kingdom. And uh, today I'm out at, uh, on a bit of a challenge actually. Um, I'm a Pentax shooter and uh, Lee Iveson, who's also a fellow YouTuber and bloody good one at that, um, challenged me and several other Pentax YouTubers to get out and do a video on the season of autumn. Um, so I thought what can I do to uh, meet this challenge so I thought I'll come out to my local woodland um, I did a video oh, a while back on some mushrooms um, I'll link it up here um, which has been quite popular and I've been meaning to do another video on that subject for quite a while um, so here I am thinking I can probably kill two birds with one stone do some fungi photography um, at a macro level um, and also tie that in, into a autumnal change of season challenge for uh, Lee Iveson. So let's see what I get on with and uh, let's see if we can find some fungi and then we'll take it from there. So I don't think I could have picked a better day actually. It's uh, a glorious autumn day, nice and warm, and the smell of the wood. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. There's uh, the smell of decaying wood, leaf litter, uh, all that slight wetness, but it's almost like a fruity sweetness to the air, which is really pretty nice. Um, not sure how long it's gonna last because uh, the weather forecast is for changeable conditions in the near next few days. So uh, I really need to make the most of these conditions to find uh, some fungi on the ground. Um, I've been looking around now for a little bit. Um, I'm approaching a location I used uh, about two or three years ago. I'm hoping that the, uh, the fungi will be there again this year. For anybody that does uh, macro slash fungi photography, um, I suppose the conditions really, you don't really need to be in the woods at um, dawn or sunset. Uh, any time of the day really. Is probably better and uh, for me I'm looking for uh, well what I'm looking for is uh, some of the sunlight to come through the woodland canopy and uh, light up on uh, some pools of light on the floor on the woodland floor and hopefully I'll get some mushrooms you know which are illuminated by that natural light um, well that's the plan um, but yeah I'm still I'm still looking for these mushrooms I had this problem last time trying to find the things um, I suppose I should listen to my own tips about this and perhaps I should uh, just slow down, take a moment or two to actually have a look and trying to, uh, yeah, just slow down because once you find one mushroom, normally there's many more. So today's images in my mind, what am I thinking? I'm thinking if I find some mushrooms, I'm going to do some very low level, low angle shots of them. Um, see if I can get the camera underneath the gills to get some detail shots. Um, I would probably try my hand a bit of focus stacking and um, I've also been looking into doing some aperture stacking, which is a, an alternative method. Um, yeah, now if, you don't, if you've not heard of aperture stacking, um, it's particularly useful if you have lenses like I do, which um, have a lot of focus breathing. Um, so when you um, when you do your manual focus and your focus stacking through the through the frame, you know starting at the edge of the mushroom and working all the way through, let's say 2.8, with lenses which focus breathe, as you move through the focus, the uh, the actual physical size of the mushroom, the subject changes slightly, and that becomes quite difficult to stack in post process. Whereas if you use aperture stacking, you know you uh, find find your fungi, say you do it um, 2.8 on the front of the edge of the fungi itself. And then you go from 2.8 and you work your way all the way through the aperture range to say f16 um, and you adjust your shutter speed to keep a, a constant exposure typically i choose around about one stop under and then when you blend those images together you get a you don't get the movement of the subject you don't get the focus breathing and that generally works in my opinion a bit better than traditional focus stacking that's enough of the technical uh, i've now got to put it into practice and find some bloody mushrooms uh, there's going to be some around here i know there is just got to find them. So, 
what I found here is a nice selection of mushrooms. There's a couple of spiders on them as well. And uh, I think I can get the angle low enough to shoot upwards at these. Um, the light's not too bad either. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to uh, capturing some of these mushrooms here. The feeling I get is uh, like a magical woodland style type of image. So that's what I'm going to do. So I think uh, looking where I am. Yep, yeah, I'm going to get my tripod set up. I, I need a stable surface to do the aperture stacking. Um, I'm going to focus on this mushroom here looking directly underneath it get all its gills in focus and i've got some nice um highlights dappled in the woodland foliage or in the woodland um canopy the sun's coming through i think that will make for a really nice image so uh, i'll get that set up now okay so i've got my uh, composition set up um i'm starting off at f 2.8 ISO 100 uh, with one stop under exposure and then I'm focusing really close on this foreground moss here which is on this side and then as I increase the aperture from f2.8 all the way to f16 that depth of field should increase and it should capture all of the mushroom and keep the background nice and blurred. It's the first one done. It's a case of just repeating this motion and obviously as the uh, as the aperture goes down and you get more and more depth of field so does the uh, the shutter speed needs to lengthen a little bit to let the amount, same amount of light in. So just keep on doing this. I'm now up to uh, f7.1, um, ISO 100, and it's still one sixth of a second on the shutter speed. Keep on going. Okay, so that's all of the shots done, and hopefully that will look very very nice. So I've been having some great fun in the woods today. Uh, got quite a few uh, different images now actually of these different mushrooms. Um, I was uh, focusing on a log with lots of little mushrooms on top. Well, I uh, spent quite a bit of time actually photographing them and uh, I think I've got some rather nice images. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another wander around, uh, try to explore my woodland a little bit more, see if we can find another composition, another scene of mushrooms to take up. Um, I really wanna make best use of this nice light which is coming towards me and um, yeah really get a good selection of macro fungi photography done today so yeah so i'm going to carry on with that um, and then yeah hopefully if i find any more images worth showing uh, i'll get them on screen for you guys to take a look at so just when i thought i'd had enough i found yet another very simple but very nice little composition a single mushroom on a bed of moss lined up on the thirds I think this looks really nice settings wise um, one and a half seconds exposure time f16 uh, iso 100 uh, and that is one stop underexposed on this little mushroom um, focused right on the front rim of the cap got a nice little bit of highlight in the corner which will look nice i'm going to take that shot now and there it goes And that looks really rather nice so i'm half tempted just to drop the depth of field down so what was i was at uh, f16 so i'm going to might uh, one under i wonder if i'm going to go slightly backwards on this actually i'm going to bring it down i'm going to go f14 one under so f13 one under So now I'm getting down into real high apertures. So I'm down at um, F5 now. Still maintaining that one under exposure. I'm just working through. Just working through the aperture range. And I promise this will be my last image.
Right guys, after me done. Thanks very much for joining me on today's little adventure. Um, and I'd like to say thank you to Lee Iveson for the challenge um, amongst the Pentax shooters on YouTube. I hope everyone has enjoyed uh, the images I've produced today. Um, I think the images are probably the upsell for me over the actual video content. But um, if you'd like to give me a like and subscribe, that would go a long way to promoting my little channel on YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, you, any answers you want to know about shooting Pentax or uh, shooting woodland macro photography, then please do get in touch in the comments below. And uh, until the next time, guys, thanks so much for your time. And please stay social and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.